welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. We have this beer right here that I had some time ago and I haven't had it for a while, so I look forward to revisiting the beer. It's from the 16 Lots Brewing Company. Now they're located in Mason, Ohio, and this is the major described as a Pilsner. Checks in at 5.2% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 26. No date stamp on the bottom of the can, but that's okay. I'm not overly concerned because it's in a can, and it's a Pilsner. Pilsners keep much longer than other styles of beer. Now, if this were an IPA, I'd have second thoughts. I might not drink it. I might not even buy it. If it didn't have a date stamp on it and it was an IPA, I'd probably pass it up. Because you need date stamps on beer. Now, you don't need them on beers that are made with hot peppers like habanero or jalapeno. You don't need them on... Um, sorry, oh, come on. There we go. Um, stouts or porters. But you don't, again though, you don't want to drink a beer that's five years old, so we really do need a date stamp. But I'm just saying that most respectable beverage stores and distributors are not going to try to push a five year old beer on you. And if they do, shame on them. All right, let's go ahead and pour this straight in because it doesn't look like we're getting a whole lot of foam on here. Now, that could be an indicator right there of an old beer when you pour it straight in and you don't get a lot of foam. But that's why I keep this stir stick handy because what I do is I just stir it up a little bit. Now, I learned that trick from a bartender at a, uh, at a brew pub. Unfortunately, that brew pub is now closed. That was a Cleveland chop house. And they, they closed that, unfortunately. But, yeah, the he would pour the beer and the server wouldn't come over to pick it up right away. And, and it would, you know, be flat. But you just put the stir stick in there and, and you see the results. Because that's how you want to serve a beer in a brew pub. You don't want the beer to be down here and then have that much empty space. You don't want that. Oh, it smells quite lovely. Mmm, nice floral bouquet in there. No spiciness. I like a little bit of spiciness, but I'm not picking that up. Ah, now I did pick up that spiciness on that second uh, smell there. Well, hey, let's thank the brewers at 16 Lots Brewery in Mason, Ohio, for all the hard work they put in brewing this batch of beer. And cheers to them, and cheers to you at home, no doubt. Hmm, that's a slightly sweet finish on it. Hmm, not off-putting, but just surprising. I wasn't expecting a uh, some sweetness in there. Hmm. Sweetness is from the malt, that's what it is. So this beer, <clears throat> and it could be, it could be an old beer. I don't want to sit here and say that it is for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. But sometimes when beer has been sitting around for a while, especially in, in less than desirable conditions, the hops will diminish. Although there's not a lot of hops in a Pilsner to begin with, uh, if it's subjected to heat, it will definitely diminish the hops. And that's what could have happened here. Uh, I'm not saying it did, but it's a little more sweet than what I would care for on a Pilsner. But it's still quite drinkable, very good indeed. There's nothing wrong with the beer, nothing wrong with the beer at all. I don't think I said either, but this has a beautiful medium golden color on it. Beautiful, slightly hazy, but it could be the lighting in here. Beautiful looking beer. Light body, light mouthfeel. It just has that slightly sweet finish. Indicative of the macro lagers. Quite a few macro lagers have a little bit of sweetness in there. And that's because they skimp 
on the hops, they put more malt in there than they put in hop because hop prices are a little, little bit more than the malts. And even when they use the malt, they're using, I don't want to say inferior, but let's say less expensive malt than what you would find in a craft lager. How about that? Very doable, very decent. It would go well with just about any food you could imagine. Not offensive in the least. A good beer to sit around and chew the fat with everybody. It's only 5.2%, remember? Nah, you drink enough of them, though, it'll make you tipsy, no doubt about it. Any alcoholic beverage will make you tipsy if you drink too much. <laughs> hey, I'm going to run out of here, but I highly recommend this. Uh, possibly I can take a trip to the brewery and get it on tap, and then I can tell you for sure what's going on with the beer. The major beer. Yeah, major. <laughs> Life is short. Let's be happy, my friends, because when it's gone, it's gone. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>